hoping it will be in just a moment. Uh, are you gentlemen familiar with the Battle of Jericho? Yes, sir. Uh, would you mind singing a few phrases, sure, please? Sure, sure. Now, I'd like you to pay particular attention to the meaning of the words. All right, gentlemen, please. The meaning of the words. Well, Joshua fit the battle around Jericho, around Jericho, around Jericho. Yeah. Well, Joshua fit the battle around Jericho, and the walls come tumbling down. God knows, then Joshua fit the battle around Jericho, around Jericho, around Jericho. Yeah. Well, Joshua fit the battle around Jericho, and the walls come tumbling down. Good morning, Sister Mary. Good morning, Brother John. I just want to stop and tell you just how I came along. You heard about good old Joshua. Well, he was the son of none. And he never stopped his working. Well, until his work was done. We got no day. Joshua fit the battle around Jericho. Ah, uh, hey, around. break it up. We don't want any whispering. Oh, uh, well, I, I believe we've gone far enough. And we all understand the answer to our problem, don't we, gentlemen? Yes, sir. Yes, now, I suggest... Yeah, go on, get into it. What do you want to do? Yeah, well, I, I, we would like to try a little demonstration of the effect of uh, resonance and reverberation. I don't know nothing about it. Well, we'll try and teach you. Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. Now, gentlemen, suppose you play the piece you were playing the other day as I came into the room. You you mean the anvil chorus? Yes, 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 oh, indeed. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Now, uh, Can I've... we play too, Professor? Oh, by all means, all of you, please join in. Now, our hope is, in the words of Mr. Armstrong, that uh, this particular music might send you out of this world. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Would you uh, sit down, please? Yes. Yes, uh... Oh, perhaps you'll be a little more comfortable right, right here. We'll do it. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, if we are all ready now, I suggest that we proceed. Uh, ready? <clears throat> I chose the wrong piece. You didn't send me at all. Me neither. Yes, it was definitely the wrong piece. I don't like that kind of stuff anyway. Oh, I quite agree with you. We must go the other way. Isn't that true, gentlemen? We must go the other way. We must change our style. Can we help, Professor? Oh, well, that's an excellent idea, Mr. Dorsey. Perhaps if we change our style to swing, that will help produce the, uh, the desired result. Hey, less talk and more music. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost had forgotten about you. Uh, just one more thing. As they are playing, would you boys be prepared to uh, uh, cut a rug for this gentleman? Oh, we, we dig it, we it, dig it Professor. Yes, indeed. Yeah, now you're talking, that's more like it. Yes, I thought it was pretty good myself. <laughs> what are you gentlemen going to play? We'd like to try flying home. That's fine. Okay, Mel. Flying home. to me. I, Anthony Crow. I, Anthony Crow. Louder, please. I, Anthony Crow. First class murderer. Take thee, Honey Swanson. Take thee, Honey Swanson. Who hates and despises you, loathes you. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For worse. For richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. For richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. I'm sick already. Cut that out. What? Never mind, go on. What, Jay? Go ahead! Oh. <laughs> 
What's that music in there? Oh. <clears throat> when sickness and in health. You just said that. What? Shall I cut out that racket, boss? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, where's he going? He's going to stop the music. Well, he can't go. He's a witness. He's got to remain here through the entire ceremony. Okay, Adams, forget it. Go ahead. Well, now I forgot where I was. I got to start all over again. Oh, it's going to take all day. Begin where you left off. What'd you say? Go ahead. Not so loud. You hurt my ear. Now repeat after me. I, Anthony Crow. I, Anthony Crow. <laughs> this man to be your lawful wedded husband, to live together. No, no, I don't. Uh, pick him up. Take his gun away. Hey, wait. I ain't finished yet. I'm very glad of that. Put up your hands, Mr. Crow. Put him up. <laughs> now, Mr. Crow, we'll settle our differences as man to man, without the use of firearms. Okay, oh boy. Oh. Take it easy, Tony. Out of boy, 